Today we have a brand new 2024 East to West Entrada. It's a 2600 DS. Um, just gonna jump right in. First thing I'll point out, and they do a really good job of telling you about it. Blinker side view cameras are, mount, are mounted low and on the full side of it. Does have a front fiberglass cap up there. Shouldn't get any leaks. No issues with it going down the road. Uh, adds an extra layer of protection so you're not worried about things falling apart on you. Really nice uh, generator with an inverter technology here. You can start it out here or you can do it from inside. Kind of going around. Nice big storage. All rotocast. Not going to rot, fall apart on you. Um, this is actually a little bit of storage behind uh, the chair inside. More storage down here, black tank flush, city water connection. There's cable and satellite hook up over there. These are all real easy to get up. 7,500 pound uh, hitch back here. Pre-wired seven way plug. Backup camera, of course. Ladder to get up onto the roof. And LED lights. Does have slide out toppers on uh, the slide outs. Nice decent sized storage over here. Kind of zip right around. It's got an awning, of course, LED lights underneath, on demand water heater. Again, nice size storage. You're utilizing all the space. Propane is right here, easy access. Asdell composite, one piece rooftop, exterior prep for television, all that good stuff. I suppose before I get too far, Right here, you've got your fuse panel, breaker, turn the thing on, turn it off, awning in and out, solar, and this one does have auto leveling. Of course, you do have to have the engine running for that to operate properly. Kind of zipping up here in the cockpit area. Pretty standard Class C affair. It's got the traditional cloth seats. The Sony uh, cam space in the middle here. Hopefully you guys can see that the camera's going a little dark on me. Um, moving right up, looks like we've got some seat cushions to bump you up a little bit higher. I, uh, I didn't look, but with that, these seats will be able to spin and become part of the living space. You do have windows on either side for airflow, collapsible ladder, USB the power ports up here, of course, cup holders, a little knickknack holder. Nice place to put all your cell phone, sleep machine if you have it, all that kind of good stuff. Full 60 by 80 cab over bunk. If I'm turning over here, separate stereo for the, the camper part so you don't have to use your front stereo. I did miss this over here, but this is your control panel where you've got everything. Wow. Case in point, there is an Arctic pack on here, so you'll have some heated tanks. Generator start stop in here as well, so if you uh, want to go that route, you can definitely do it. Just going to turn right along. You've got your booth dinette, which we'll get into. Notice there's nothing underneath. No knee knockers, so to speak. Nice full extension drawers. And I'm going to do this because these are quiet close as well you get them to the certain point and they just close up themselves power down below seat belts of course everywhere you need them we do have storage up top as well this is a forest river product if anyone was uh, interested I suppose I failed to mention that outside power ports up top Put your laptop, all your cell phones, accessories in there too, especially with the ones down below. Um, this is that folding couch I talked about outside. Um, there are seat belts in here, so you can add more uh, people for traveling. Cup holders and a little shelf on the back here. And then this, if I can get to it, opens up. And that's the storage you had from the exterior, and I suppose... This is what the back of the couch looks like. So if you're traveling in the up position, you might have a few more areas to store things. And again, these cabinets are just more like the front ones. All on the slide out, they just kind of continue along. 
I'm gonna move right back over to here. This is probably one of my favorite features of these units is this 12 volt fridge. So it runs off the battery. It's on and going right now. Again, solar panels on the roof will keep you charged going down the road, stopped. Um, when you're driving, of course, your engine will charge your batteries as well. But that has gotta be one of the coolest things I've seen. You can open it up from either side. Nice little freezer area. It's all taped down. We haven't even finished checking this one in yet. So this is what it's looking like straight from the factory. Um, didn't do any cleanup, any tidying, nothing like that. So this is exactly what you get. And then of course we go through it from there. Uh, another thing to point out is there is a 12 volt television in here. You do not need to run the generator when driving down the road because of that. So nifty little feature, extra little option. This one's gonna have a ton of counter space. Of course, three burner stove with the glass top, stainless steel sink. You've got the drying rack on top of it. Nice convection microwave down below. And then down underneath the sink, plenty of storage there. Nice bank of drawers. This one kind of hard to get to because it's got that cover. So be mindful of what you put into it. All these other ones though. And again, quick, quiet close. Pretty quick, get that one all the way in. Here's some more storage here. Decent space, moving up top. Again, it does more of the same, and if you come around into the bedroom, you have hanging storage as well, so you're not losing any of that space. I know a lot of people will say it's not full depth when I just do the one, so I wanted to make sure I was doing it all. 110 and 12 volt power next to the bed. Uh, there is this accordion uh, door here, closing it off. Thermostat control. Light switch, TV prep. There is a skylight vent in the bedroom as well. You've got some storage up top. If you have a CPAP, you've got a shelf over here and one over here. Again, power present, so you're ready to rock and roll. Kind of coming back this way, we'll get you into the restroom. Looks like you got a porcelain potty, so no plastic ickies. Medicine cabinet, roof vent. And then you've got your, your shower and your ceiling sky dome. And I'm going to go put myself in here again. So this is kind of what it looks like. There's geez, plenty of room. Don't have to worry about that too much. This is kind of nifty. Shower curtain is a little more solid. It all goes on a track so you know exactly where it's going to be. And then plenty of storage down here. Medicine cabinet, plenty ample. Hot water control is right there. Again, it is on demand. And uh, the other thing I will point out is, as you see from front to rear, there is no step. It is one, one level, one size. You don't have anything to trip over, fall down. I know that's typically a complaint about most Class C's is, you just have that little trip and you can't get around it. So this one is really good that way. Everything is nice and clean, pretty seamless. These things are coming in, God, really clean. Typically we have a bunch of stuff to do to them when we get them in. So this one, uh, again, really, really nice. Oh, I should definitely point out the fact that it's got a really big exhaust fan here in the kitchen with a rain sensor on it so if it starts raining it'll close itself right up any other questions comments concerns please let me know